Hi guys! In this video, we're gonna learn how to use Zoho Sales IQ's visitor tracking feature for your marketing and sales grind. So, without further ado, we'll get started. Before even we get started with the video, let's see what are all the insights that you can grab from the Visitors Online tab. So, here we go. If you haven't integrated your Zoho Sales IQ account with any other third-party application, these are the information that you can grab out of the visitor tile. If you have integrated your Zoho Sales IQ with a CRM product, these are the information that will be displayed on your proactive window. If you have integrated your Sales IQ account with the campaigns product, you'll get to see all the campaigns that the Vista had been a part of in the proactive window. If you have integrated your Zoho Sales IQ with Clear Bit Reveal, whenever an anonymous visitor hits your website, the company info of that particular visitor will be displayed in your proactive window. If suppose you had integrated Clearbit Enrich with your Zoho Sales IQ, you'll get to see all the personal data associated with the visitor email address specified. Now let's delve in and consider two simple examples. First off, log into your Zoho Sales IQ account and open up the Visitors Online tab. Well, looks like there are already a bunch of visitors on my site. Now, let's scrutinize the details of Kate Marion. Clicking on Kate Marion opens up the visitor tile in which you can find various information like name, email address, country that the visitor is from, browser that the visitor is using, platform of the device that the visitor had used to access your site. Not only this, you can also view CRM opportunity lead score, the action performed by the visitor, amount of time spent by the visitor on your site, number of visits paid and number of conversations initiated by the visitor, IP address of the visitor, geolocation, landing page and the source from which the visitor had got redirected to your website. Say you are an active member of your firm's marketing squad. What would you do with all this information? Obviously, you'll be looking forward to use all these details for outbound marketing, isn't it? Now, let's see how Patricia uses them. Patricia is using Zoho campaigns for composing her campaign emails. Looks like she's already composed one and she's all set to send it out to her leads. And yay! The campaign emails are successfully sent. Now, let's slip into the stealth mode and watch what happens on the lead side. So, shall we? We are about to sneak into Spencer's mailbox. There it is, the email that Patricia had sent earlier. Spencer is clicking on the email. She finds the content to be intriguing and she's planning on visiting your site. So, she's clicking on the link and she's getting redirected to your website. And finally, yes, she's on your site now. Let's swiftly switch back to our Zoho Sales IQ portal. Wow, did you see that? You can actually see that Spencer is on your site right away from your Zoho Sales IQ dashboard. We just saw the marketing perspective of the visitor tracking feature. Now, let's see the sales perspective. Let's scrutinize the profile of Spencer. From a salesperson's perspective, I guess Spencer's profile is absolutely perfect because you could see that her CRM opportunity and lead score are completely reasonable. And also, she has been a part of two exclusive campaigns, thus making her a perfect match for my buyer persona. And also, her trail clearly shows that she's into my products. So isn't she strike worthy? Yes, of course. So let's see how Patricia strikes up a conversation with Spencer right away from the Visitors Online tab. 
Since Patricia is associated with multiple departments, she'll have to choose a particular department on behalf of which she would like to initiate this conversation. In this scenario, she can choose sales. Well, we have proactively initiated a chat successfully. Kudos to you. Now we know what are all the details that we can scrutinize out of the Visitors Online tab. Now let's see how to prioritize the visitors who hit your website. So here we go. For this, you'll have to click on the Customize button which you can find in the top right corner of the window. Clicking on which, a window will slide in, listing out all the criterions based on which the visitors are being prioritized as of now. You can either choose to prioritize your visitors based on an existing standard filter or you can also create custom filters of your own. Do remember that you can create only 5 custom filters of your own. If you would want to add another one, you'll have to delete an existing one. Since I have 5 custom filters already, I'll have to delete one if I would want to create a new custom filter. Okay, now I have successfully created a custom filter of my own. Do you see any difference in the window? Stars, isn't it? What are they? These stars indicate the cold visitors. Cold visitors as in the ones who do not match the priority criterions that you have set in the customized tab. Just because they don't match your priority criterions as of now, it doesn't mean that you have to keep them off your focus. They might sometime match your criterions and be organized inside the priority rings. So let them stay put outside your priority rings until they match your criterions. Now let's scrutinize the profile of a cold visitor. See, be it a cold visitor or be it a warm visitor, we index the data of all the visitors who hit your website and provide you with concrete contact information. And guys, if you're not a big fan of watching your visitors being organized around priority rings, you can also choose to view them in the form of lists. For this, you'll have to click on the list icon which you can find right beside the ring icon in the top right corner. Clicking on which, you can view the list of visitors who are currently on your website. Will that be all? A big no. What if I tell you that you can monitor your visitor actions right away from the overview window of your visitors online tab? Intrigued? Want to know how? Then do stick around. If you could see a small green line in the top right corner of the box right above your visitor flag, it means that the visitor is not a newbie. He or she has already paid a visit to your website. If you could see a chat bubble around the visitor flag and if it is pointing towards the left, it means that your colleague has initiated a proactive chat with the visitor. And if the chat bubble is pointing towards the right, it means that the visitor is interested too and has responded back to your colleague. If you could see a teeny tiny pointer over the visitor flag, it means that the visitor is clicking on the widget that you've embedded on your website. And if there is a lightning symbol over the visitor flag, it means that the visitor has set off one or more triggers that you had configured earlier. If you find a red circle around the flag, it means that the visitor is swiftly navigating between the web pages of your website. Blue line in the top right corner of the box indicates that the visitor has already conversed with the operators of your firm. Flags indicate the country that the visitor is from. The box right above the flag is split into two sections. The top section specifies the name of the visitor or the unique ID that Zoho Sales IQ has assigned them with. The bottom section specifies the amount of time that the visitor has spent on your website. As I said earlier, stars represent cold visitors as in the ones who do not match the priority criterions that you have set in the customized tab. 
Interesting, isn't it? Then what are you waiting for? Roll up your sleeves and delve right in. Check out our visitor tracking feature and do write us a feedback. Thank you.